another exciting issue of comic book masterpiece theater. Today's topic, Iron Man vs. Wolverine. Who would win? Let's find out. Joining me today, we have Mr. Double O. Hello. And Mr. Jonesy. I, of course, your host, Ganoush. So, gentlemen, Iron Man vs. Wolverine, what are our first thoughts? Who, uh, who, who, who has the advantage? Uh, I don't know where to start on that. <laughs> it just determines. If you get with pros and cons here. If you start off, you, know, you have the basic things with Wolverine. You have his healing abilities. You have the claws, the snick snick. And then, uh, then, you know, then he heals. So he's practically indestructible. The, true, dude, true. the dude can die, but, you know, you really ought to be putting him through some crap. I think the really important question is, what would it take for Wolverine to die? Because this is, of course, the fight to the death. An adamantium bullet. That's a good point. True. Because he can't, his, his adamantium can't heal. So, I mean, the adamantium can heal, true. but, like, if he gets shot, it goes through the adamantium, and it heals the adamantium. The adamantium, and yeah. that's a good point. That's a good point. It fuses together. So, so now I, I would say uh, Tony Stark has access to uh, anything. adamantium. Yeah, anything really. Yeah, yeah Tony Stark is a very wealthy, uh, wealthy individual. Yeah, he has many resources. Um, as Iron Man, he can fly. He can do about anything he could possibly want. It's just a matter of creating it. Um, uh, personally, I think it's going to be a little bit more than just an antimantium bullet. That's gonna have to put Wolverine down for Stark. See, here's the question. Like, I suppose that the bullet would go into the head, uh, going through the adamantium skull, and uh, piercing the brain. But would the brain just heal with it in there? Well, you know, that's how he lost his memory originally. True. Is the in Weapon X, whenever he was escaping, they shot him in the head with with a gun with an adamantium bullet. True. And, and that's what caused him to have memory relapses. It was only later on in the future that he actually got the capability of getting those memories back because they found a way to pull right. the bullet out of his skull without killing him. Right, and the neurons, I suppose. Yeah, connected. some strange... Some scientific crap. The, some strange Marvel-verse scientific factors that don't make plausible sense, but... <laughs> so, um... Let's see, what would... What would Wolverine... I mean, really, do you think... Wolverine's claws could go through the suit. Oh, absolutely. He's yeah. just fighting a robot. Yeah. Uh, so, but the thing is, uh, Iron Man's very quick. He uh, and he can fly. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he's very adaptive to the suit. And um, I think that Iron Man would have to attack from the sky. Uh, and wear Wolverine down. Perhaps blow off some limbs. Yeah. I, I could agree with that. I could agree with that. You have to remember, too, Iron Man only has repulsor rays. True. So, yeah, it's going to hit it. It's like little missiles, but again, yeah, it's still just going to slow him down. Yeah. It, you know, on, on Wolverine's end, too, you know, his, his regeneration does have to have time to kick in. True. So if you just constantly keep pounding him, just barraging him with crap, eventually he's going to get worn down. Right. So you, you can even wear him down. I would have to say Iron Man, would, his best bet would be to lure him into some sort of trap. To at least try to cage him, try to cage the beast. It is widely known that Logan is ex doesn't think things through all the time. He's, he's very rash. He's very quick to act. Yeah, very impulsive. He is. So he's that, that would make sense. What kind of trap do you think he would use, though? Well, off the top of my head, the only thing that would be conceivable that would actually hold Wolverine would be an adamantium cage. Right. Uh, something that would hold him in place while. Stark would have some better thought-out way of actually either destroying him or just uh, making him less destructive. True. Yeah, because you know, Stark does have the disadvantage in a way. He has plenty of, plenty of advantages as well, but like Stark is has no superpowers. The guy has a bad heart. He has metal lodged into his heart. He literally can't survive without, you know, his, his power core, so, but on the other hand, I mean, he's Iron Man, he's <laughs> tough as nails, and he's rather hard to get to, yeah, and he doesn't go down, he doesn't let those things mm -hmm. hinder his ability to fight, he now the suit's through. missing and he's still punching, yeah, he's still fighting, that's a good point, um, do you but think, 
do you think maybe he could use Iron Man could use uh, knockout gas? Yeah, I mean Wolverine still in a sense is human, so any any toxin would still affect him as anyone else. Yeah, he, he he can't he can't be infected by any types of disease. Like biological warfare doesn't really work on him. They they actually have a series that's Marvel Zombies, which is horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible series, at least to me it is. But uh but like Wolverine can't get infected. He even fights with his claws. So you know, he's getting the blood all over him and right. you know, he's probably getting it in some orifice or something. But, yeah. But but he never turns because his blood because of his genetic, you know, genetic genetics, that, that it automatically heals. His body kind of kicks it out. It, it, it's immune to almost anything. So if, if that's the case, would you, do you propose that knockout gas would affect him? I think it would affect him because it's more of a, like, neurological thing. It's more or less like, you know... It's, it still has to breathe Yeah, out. it's slowing him down. It's, it's not physically harming him. It's just... I think perhaps it would take a lot more. Yeah, it would take a lot because the body would try to heal immediately. As you could trank him, it just takes a lot. Maybe a constant feed of knockout <laughs> yeah. gas. Nonstop. He only breathes knockout gas. Well, yeah, once, once, once you've got him down, if you, maybe you put a drip of, right. of something to get him unconscious. liquid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Injected with a lot of it, yeah. Um, okay, so that's the only way that... Uh, like, how do you think Wolverine would take Iron Man out? Oh, it's it's Wolverine. He only has one method of attack, really. It's his claws. I mean, he's... The, the, the real question is, is that if Iron Man kept pelting him from the sky, that's the disadvantage that Wolverine doesn't have. I mean, Wolverine's strong, he's quick, he can jump a lot, but he literally cannot hit him at a lot of angles like Iron Man can. Iron Man could just fly around, blah, 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 just hit him constantly. And, you know, Wolverine's just like, hey, <laughs> he's trying to claw him, claw the air. Uh, he could try all he wants to, but he's not getting up there. He's not getting that height. Perhaps Wolverine would try to find a contraption to send himself into the sky. Well, yeah, but Perhaps. you got to think, you know, Stark's, if Iron Man's up in the air, he's going to have all the vision in the world. He's going to see True. it coming. Yeah. It's not like Wolverine's going to sneak up on him. I mean, he can strategically try to move around. Con Wolverine can strategically right. try to move around, but it's really Stark really has that advantage. It's going to wear him down eventually. Mm -hmm. Iron Man's up in the sky, so he's gonna have to like get away. Wolverine's gonna have to sneak off during the battle and get out of Iron Man's eyesight, and then sneak up on top of something that's gonna be out of Tony Stark's. Perhaps, view. perhaps uh, Wolverine could uh, lure him into a building. See? Yeah. That's well, way. even the odds of it, and he could jump out of random places. Yeah, even though he has the radar. Like if he made if he made Iron Man mad, and like Iron Man it was forced to take a position where he had to go inside of a building, uh, Wolverine has that advantage because once again, it's a small confined space. Iron Man blows a lot of things up. <laughs> True. He is very destructive. There are no walls for him. And Wolverine's very small. Well, for the most part, he's small. He, usually, it just determines what right. you read. He's usually about six foot. Sometimes right. he's shorter, but he's got that exactly. ability to dodge around through a building right. and circle back around. Stark could try all he wants. Yeah, I think in a building, Wolverine would definitely have the win. He would take to another. I agree. So, he'd in an Iron open out. field... You know, Iron Man clearly has the advantage because of the ability of, you know, he can fly. You know, Wolverine can't fly, but, you know, in a building he would, you know, he would, it would definitely be his downfall. And I don't, I don't even think that's even in, I don't think Stark would let that happen. I don't think Iron Man would know. He's way too smart. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> he is also, he always has Jarvis to help him. The, the, that's where they have it too, is that, you know, Iron Man is. I don't want to sound the bad way, but Iron Man is a lot smarter than Wolverine because, like you said earlier, right. he's really impulsive. He's a genius. He, he's I a mean, prodigy turned genius. Wolverine's just like the tough guy. He's just the hard-on tough right. guy, and you know, Stark has come from a family of geniuses. So, final thought: uh, do, Who do you think would win? I I am honestly gonna go. I'm gonna go Wolverine because it's just. He, he's tough as nails. I mean, he may not be that intelligent. He, he, he's got a lot of... He's definitely not technologically advanced like Iron Man is. But I, 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 I gotta go with Wolverine. Because I know he pulls something out. He, 
I mean, he's Wolverine. He's gonna pull something out of his sleeve True. and get him. So, your okay. thoughts? I think, uh, I think Iron Man would, uh, over time, I mean, he wouldn't, unless there was a pressing issue to attack Wolverine now, I think Iron Man would definitely have the resources to, uh, to create something that would hold, hold him in and would create a plan to get him into a, into a trap. So I, I think, because, because Wolverine is very, uh, impulsive, he doesn't think a lot of things through, so if he would be, that, that makes him perfect to be caught in a trap. Uh, by any way, lure, lured in. I mean, it could be even just Iron Man himself running into a building and Wolverine thinking, you know, I have the advantage now in going after him. And then, you know, he could be, he could have him right there. But uh, yet again, it just, it, it all boils down to who, uh, what the situation is. Uh, I, I think uh, Tony Stark, I think Tony Stark has the resources and I think Iron Man could definitely, uh, could definitely take Wolverine down. So is it safe to assume that in an open environment, we were betting on Tony Stark, and in an enclosed environment, Wolverine just might pull through? Yes. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in Comic Book Masterpiece Theater. Please tune in next week, where we'll have more action.